Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you're all having a fantastic day today and welcome to the second Cars 3 diecast review on my channel. Today we have Combustor number 11 who will be a piston car racer in the movie Cars 3. So on my last Cars 3 diecast review of Jackson Storm, I had a poll where you guys could vote for which Cars 3 diecast you want me to review next. And of course, the other option besides Combustor, who obviously won, was Bobby Swift, Octane Game number 19. So thanks to everyone who voted, I believe Combustor got like 1,400 votes, so that is amazing. Thank you guys so much. And today, we have an even bigger poll for you guys to vote in. So of course, Octane Game here is back if you want me to review him next. Or we have Smokey a new character in Cars 3, and the rest of them are more Piston Cut Racers. Tank Coat, number 36. We have Vitaline, number 24, aka Brick Yardley. And the big one, Dynaco, number 42, aka Hank Weathers. So of course, feel free to vote in the poll in the top right hand corner of the video. I really appreciate it so I know what you guys want to see most. So now let's dive right into the review here of Combustor. So we know that this guy will appear somewhere in Cars 3, but we don't know his exact location yet. I myself haven't seen him racing by in any of the trailers or sneak peeks. Let me know if you have down in the comment section below because I'm really interested. It's possible that he hasn't appeared at all, and if he did, it might be extremely blurry because of course all the racers are racing by at really, really fast speeds. Now I'm sure that when the movie comes out, and especially when it's released on DVD and Blu-ray and all that good stuff, we will be able to see this guy no problem because of course we'll pause, look in the background because this guy probably will not be a main character. And the reason I know that is because most of the Piston Car Racers in Cars 1 were not main characters. Most of the World Grand Prix Racers in Cars 2 were not main characters. And to add on to that, this guy does not have his name on the roof edges. Now, typically it seems like for Cars 3, the main characters will have their actual names on the roof edges because we don't know this guy's actual name. It's not Combustor 11. That's not his name. That's his sponsor and then his number. But for the Octane Game Racer, we know his name. He's Bobby Swift. If you look at the roof edges here, it actually says Bobby Swift in white text right there. It's a little hard to see on this one, but it's definitely there here. It's a little bit easier to see on Hank Weathers here. And so there you go, Hank Weathers. And the same thing goes for Tanko here. Tanko does not have a name on the roof edges, but Vitaline does. He's Brick Yardley. So just to let you guys know about that, it seems like the main characters will have some sort of name on their roof edges, even though it doesn't really make sense in reality because all of the racers should have their names on the roof edges despite their popularity, or not really popularity, but their prominence in the movie. But I'm sure as time goes on, we will eventually learn this guy's name because, for example, in Cars 1 here, we did not know Leakless's name until a book was released that said that his name was Claude Scruggs. Now moving on to his release and how I got him. So I want to make sure I answer that question in this video because I'm sure many people will ask me it. So same thing with Jackson Storm, who I reviewed last weekend. I got him from a Chinese eBay seller called Snapdragon Toys for around $20, I believe. Now last time I checked, I think the seller raised the price to $25 plus shipping. So yeah, that kind of stinks, but you know, they gotta make money. So the link to the listing, if you wanna check it out, will be in the description, in stock or not. I'm pretty sure it is in stock, but I'm not entirely sure. Of course, these cars, three cars, are extremely popular right now, so you want to make sure you buy it if you do want it before anyone else does and it sells out. But I think this one is in stock. So, moving on to his release, we don't really know how he'll be released, but I can probably tell you when. May 1st, 2017. That's when the first wave of all Cars 3 diecasts 
is released. And I'm sure since he was one of the first to pop up on eBay, I'm sure he'll be in that wave. I'm sure you can probably walk into a Walmart on May 1st and buy him. No doubt in my mind, I'm almost 100% sure that he'll be available as a single. So he shouldn't be too hard to find. So kind of $20 is a little bit expensive, but you know, I wanted to do this review for you guys. Plus, I'll have them for about five months ahead of time. So, you know, it's worth it to me. Maybe not you. Maybe it is worth it to you. Just, you know, make sure you're buying what you can afford and what you like. So, I believe that's all for everything else besides the review. So, now let's dive into his review. Now, before we actually start, I just wanted to show that Tank Coat and Bobby Swift are the same exact model as Combustor and they have the same expression. So, that's not the best, but it's kind of expected because, of course, in Cars 1, they did the same thing for the racers. They had three model designs for the racers that were in the background and did not really speak, and they all had the same expression for that you know specific model. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but if you don't, just check out some videos on my channel of Piston Cup Racers. Now, I think these will be the three models of Piston Cup Racers in Cars 3. You got this one on the left here that's a little bit thinner and longer. Then you got this pretty typical one, and this one's pretty typical. I mean, they're all pretty typical. They don't look anything extravagant like Jackson Storm, but I think these will be the three designs in Cars 3. Now, Hank might be a little bit different from the others because I think he will be a pretty main character in the movie, but then again, I'm not entirely sure. So there you go. I'll compare them a little bit more in my reviews of each of them individually. All right, guys. So Combustor is a Piston Cup sponsor that actually did not appear in Cars 1. Tank Co. did appear in Cars 1. So I'll do a comparison with the original racer in that video. And same thing with Octane Gain and Vitaline. But Combustor is actually a brand new sponsor. So that's pretty cool. Now it does say Combustor, the power of online banking. So it must be some sort of banking system and all that stuff. But it kind of doesn't seem like that. Combustor seems like something, you know, car related and not really financial. But whatever. We got a cool logo right there of like a Combustor or whatever. It's like a piston or something smashing i don't really know but it's a cool design nonetheless i love the rims for this guy they're light green with some white trim going around it i also kind of like the i don't really know how to describe it but it's kind of like a harpy you know how it goes up and down with this arrow going up and down throughout the car there and that is just awesome you know pixar and disney always does a great job with these you know piston cut racers they always are very creative with them now on the side here we can see piston cup there vitaline revolting rpm nitrate octane game and clutch aid so those are the secondary sponsors and i will assume that those racers will also be returning as well of course we know vitaline and octane gain are and nitrate but we haven't seen racers for revolting rpm or clutch aid yet and now what's actually pretty cool is that on the side of Jackson Storm here for his secondary sponsors Combustor is actually one of them now it's super hard to see for some reason on my camera I think it's because the gray really blends in but Combustor is actually that sponsor directly below the 2.0 there so that is pretty cool I'm sure you guys know that already if you watch my Jackson Storm video of course number 11 and we got this kind of cool black fade design within the green there excuse me but I really do like that there of course the number is a great design as well toward the back here we have the piston with the smash there combustor the power of online banking what a cool slogan there and same thing on the back here as well Let's check out the base. I was actually really impressed with the design of this base. We have the exhaust pipes coming out here. So it's actually a really nicely designed base. Jackson Storm's base, you know, it's pretty flat, doesn't have much detail, but this one has quite a bit of detail. So that is awesome. Very, very cool indeed. I don't know if I would have actually voted for him for me to review. I actually kind of wanted to review Octane Game first because I think Bobby Swift which is Octane Game, will be a main character, but Combustor is actually a really cool one. I find it really cool that he's actually a new sponsor, so it brings some new things to Cars 3, whereas I think, you know, you know, some Piston Cut racers will return, and some won't, and then we'll have these new ones coming as well. Now, 
One thing that I just wanted to say, I think we'll have the stock cars from Cars 3 you know, in Cars 3, and then you'll have the next generation cars like Jackson Storm. So it'll be like this. You'll have stock cars, and you'll have the Jackson Storm type cars. Now right now from the diecast perspective, seems like Mattel will be releasing a lot more of the stock cars. So that's a little strange because from the trailers and the sneak peeks, I see a lot more of the next generation cars like Jackson Storm, but maybe that's just because they're always focusing on the front of the pack. And those are the racers that are the fastest. So naturally they are at the front of the pack, but Anyway, I think they will release some of both because on eBay, we have seen the Nightway Racer, which actually is a next generation racer. So that is awesome. I cannot wait until I do my review of him because I did order him. So hopefully it comes really, really soon, but probably won't come for another two weeks or something because it did come on eBay like last weekend or something like that. But getting back to Combustor here, I wanna compare him to some of the Cars 1 racers. So we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. Now I feel like this is the most similar racer that we have from Cars 1 to Combustor. So they're both stock cars. They both have that little spoiler in the back there. Dale looks to be a little bit bigger, but you know, they're pretty similar nonetheless. So there you go. Pretty cool. I really hope Dale appears in Cars 3, but I kind of doubt it at this point. And just for the laughs and giggles, we have the King. Nah, King, you're too advanced. You're too cool. And we have Chick Hicks. Ah, Chick Hicks. Chick will be back for Cars 3, but he won't be a racer. Here's McQueen. McQueen actually looks kind of similar because he's a, you know, rather typical stock car, but I still love his design. And we have some more similar ones like Nightway. Now this is the Cars 1 Nightway. When I do my review of the Cars 3 Nightway, you'll see such an insane difference. Like the new one has an insane spoiler. It's all bronze. It's amazing. But there you go. These guys are pretty similar. And so there you go. Pretty cool. I don't know. I kind of like Combustor more. I kind of like the Combustor design a little bit more. Maybe it's just because it's new and I'm really excited for Cars 3, but I really do like this design. Here's Leakless. We don't know if he'll be returning for Cars 3, but there's your comparison. They're pretty different actually, so, you know, can't really say much about them. And we have RPM. Yeah, kind of similar, but again, I feel like Nightwade and Dale are the most similar to Combustor here. I'll do a lot more comparisons when I do my videos on, you know, Tank Co and Octane Gain and Violin and the Dynaco Racer Hank Weathers. But for now, I'm pretty sure that's all for Combustor number 11. I hope you guys did enjoy the review. And actually, before we end off the video, I just want to give you guys my thoughts on the racers for Cars 3. So, you know, in Cars 1, it was pretty much all stock cars, so let's just pull Nitroid here for example. Then, in Cars 2, we had an extreme variety of racers. We had all different racers from different countries, like Miguel Camino here on the left and Raul Cerule there on the right. So, that was pretty extreme and different. And now, in Cars 3, it looks like we might be getting a little bit of a mix of the two of them. So it seems like we got stock cars and some pretty advanced cars like Jackson there as well. So that's my take on everything. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And don't forget to vote in the poll in the top right hand corner. Thanks again for voting and thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I think my next video will be about Easter coming early. Bye now.